I wish to discuss with you. When you have heard. free soon. Very still, and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Please, we are not a threat. We are trying to help. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. You trespass in Dazra, the home of House Varun, and you disgrace it with every heretical step you take. I say again, who are you, and how did you find this place? No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. It was deemed necessary at the time. We will reevaluate that decision in light of what has happened. Boris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps, in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great Serpent! It's happening again! Hear me! Speaker! We are here! We have reached out to you, to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. Oh, great serpent. Is... Is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? I... I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of 
me. Great serpent, I have done all that I can. The scaled citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. If the Oracle brought you to us, then the Great Serpent needs for you to be here. Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these Vortex Phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. I am not able to go into detail. There was an experiment, an accident. Many of our people left in a similar state. While most are hostile, Anasco is... The Great Serpent spared him that fate. He's different. If only we could communicate with him. Anasco Varun is our leader, the grandson of Jinan Varun himself. He sometimes appears to us, but we cannot interact. What do you mean? Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to? Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? I, the serpent. I heard nothing. He said that? It is no joke. Access to the Citadel was restricted. Even if you knew of its existence, you could not have known what went on inside. Truly, you did hear an Asko. You have been chosen. I would like a chance to talk to you. If you are able. People of House Varun, hear me! We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance, and he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. You even have my assurance that you are... Uh, Compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? We, the people of House Varun, are the promised. The Great Serpent has blessed us with knowledge of the future and our place in it. Our service to him guarantees us a place in the new worlds he will create when he returns to enshroud the universe. A greater gift could not be bestowed upon you. You must mean, you zealots. I assure you, they do not represent House Varun. We do not engage with the settled systems. They would attack us just as soon as you or anyone else. 
and they would certainly never extend an offer to join them, as I do now in this time of desperation. So, will you? Well, efforts to do something, anything about our current dilemma have fallen to political infighting. I believe your arrival, if nothing else, represents a sign from the Great Serpent himself that we must finally put aside our differences and work together. It must be ordained that you would appear before us now, able to hear the speaker when no one else can. Excellent. But please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkef, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I revealed for now, but surely you saw the scale of the Citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that's annihilated most of our city. We've lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. What is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith, I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing. They will be one of us. But I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Harold Inaza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed, you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me. Hmm. There is something about you. No husk that walked the serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed? One of the promised. A lesson. A test. A moment for the great serpent to reach out and fill you with something more than what you have been. Those born to House Faroon spend every day surrounded by our history. The rituals that separate us from the husks happen naturally over time. 
You have not experienced that. Those who have not answered the Serpent's call cannot coexist with House Faroon. And so, if you are to aid us in our time of need, you must become one of the promised. You have not been filled with purpose by the Great Serpent, so you are merely a husk. But perhaps not for long. Then enter, and I shall guide you along the Serpent's path. For this is a journey you must undertake alone. Your escort cannot follow. This is a profound step for you. Do not worry. You have nothing to fear. The path lies before you. Can but it is up to you to walk it. I will await you at the end of the Serpent's Path. It has served more than one purpose for our people over the generations. For a brief time it was owned, but then his wisdom, Jinan Varun, saw fit to turn it into a way for those outside House Varun to begin to learn, to join us in following the Great Serpent. That ended after the Serpent's Crusade. It feels right to see it used again now. In our time of need. The Serpent's Path will tell you what you need to know for now. After that, the Council awaits. After that, I will be at the Temple as I always am. And I will offer counsel as I would to any of the promised. I am. I carry on the traditions that Jinan Varun began and maintain our people's connection to the Great Serpent. I and others like me look after the temples and offer guidance to those who need it. And now, it seems I am called upon to help the Serpent's call fill a new vessel. Truly, I am blessed. A difficult question. The original converts were accepted in the years after House Faroon first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. And after the Crusade, few were eager to join. When Jinan Varun's son Jarek took power, we pulled back, rejected contact with non-believers. We removed any avenues for converts to find us. But there were those among us who hoped that one day we might help others see the light of the Great Serpent's teachings. And if we can survive our current situation, your presence here now might sway opinions on future converts. Farewell. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path.
One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Jinan encountered the great serpent and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. Followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside the burdens, to redeem yourself for anything that holds you back. The people's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the great serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Arun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the great serpent, and he will embrace you. people of House Faroon settled this world at first in these very caves. Jinan Faroon himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Faroon first understood the truth of their place in the universe.
And it was here that the people of House Faroon first understood the truth of the Shrouding. The Great Seraph's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You two would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain.
Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Let us begin the final ritual. While none since Jinan and Berlin have stood before the great servant, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent the different aspects of House Garou's connection to the Great Servant. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offer it to the Great Serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the Great Serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? Yes, your confidence is impressive. Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of 
Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, Jewel of the Varun Fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. How may I assist you? Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik, and we are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. Collectively, we unite under the banner of House Varun, pledged to follow Jinan Varun and his descendants. But our society is not a monolith. Jinan, in his wisdom, shepherded the first of us into families that we might grow and prosper. Our three families have for generations now helped to govern the people of House Varun, and offer counsel to our leader. I understand. Until you were one of us, we could not trust you. By all means, Malibor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. ...and then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor. Do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent, and so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years. Utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. 
And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scale citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. The citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running. Somehow, preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We... were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. It has only been a few weeks. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But they had fallen apart. Forgive me, I am no scientist, but as it has been explained to me, what we call the Vortex is the, uh, the space between universes. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly. It is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. You would speak with me? Yes. Did you require something? I was outside the city, visiting a friend at his farm. We saw the flesh of light from inside, and by the time we made it outside... Uh... You know, in that moment, I worried it was my fault. That I had somehow not been faithful enough, that I had not believed. I still find myself worrying that we are being punished, that we have affronted the Great Serpent in some way, and that this is our penance. Indeed, Serac was my cousin. I know they were assigned to the Oracle, and Malabar relayed their final report sent by the station. They walk with the Great Serpent now. Serac was a respected scientist, dedicated to the Great Serpent. They spent every moment engrossed in their work, a true testament of faith. It was their greatest honor to be selected for the Oracle. The Oracle's fate would be tabled for a future discussion. We have more important issues at hand. Eighty-seven souls reside with the Great Serpent now. Many were some of the finest scientific minds House Varun had to offer. They would be remembered alongside those we lost here in Dasra. Of course. Oh, it was breathtaking. A true testament to the will of Jinan Varun and our faith in the Great Serpent. To have started from nothing and to have accomplished so much I pray to the Serpent that we can someday reclaim all that we have lost. Yes? <laughs>